La Perm Cat vs. Maine Coon Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The La Perm's outstanding feature, of course, is his coat which has loose, bouncy curls, making it light and airy to the touch. Tighter, longer curls surround the neck, forming a rough and clustering at the base of the ears. The whiskers are also long and curly. The coat comes in two lengths, short and long, and any color or pattern. Tabbies, tortoise shells, and red cats are most common. Long-haired law perms have a plume tail. The coat's length and fullness may vary seasonally. It sometimes parts naturally down the middle of the back. The short-haired law perm does not necessarily have a ruff, ringlets or earmuffs, and the texture of the coat may be harder than that of the long-haired law perm. He has a tail with fur that looks wavy, more like a bottle brush than a plume. The short coat may also part down the middle of the back. Whatever the length, the law perm coat manifests in different ways. Kittens may be born hairless, with straight hair or with curly hair. Both long-haired and short-haired kittens can be born in the same litter. You may notice that the name on your kitten's pedigree includes the letters BC, BS, or BB. Those initials indicate whether the kitten was born curly, born straight, or born bald and helps breeders study how the gene is expressed. The La Perm's head is a modified wedge shape, meaning it is slightly rounded. The medium size to large ears are slightly flared. Long-haired La Perm's have full furnishings, hair inside the ears, and a covering of fur on and around the outer ears that resemble earmuffs. Expressive eyes can be any color. A Maine Coon is a big, rugged cat with a smooth, shaggy coat who looks as if they could put in a full-day mousing on a farm in all weather conditions. Indeed, they were built for just such work in the harsh Maine climate, and their breed standard reflects their heritage, calling for a medium-sized to large cat with a well-proportioned body that is muscular and broad-chested. A Maine Coon has substantial, medium-length legs and large, round paws, well tufted with fur, to serve as snowshoes during winter. A heavy coat is shorter on the shoulders, longer on the stomach and breeches, long fur on the upper hind legs, with a rough in front and a long, furry tail waving a greeting. A medium-width head is slightly longer than it is wide and has a squarish muzzle. Large, well-tufted ears are wide at the base, tapering to a point, and large, expressive eyes are green, gold, greenish gold, or copper. White or bi-colored Maine Coons may have blue or odd eyes. The brown tabby pattern is so common in this breed that many people don't know Maine Coons can come in any other colors or patterns. They might be surprised to learn that Maine Coons are found in solid colors that include black, red or white, all tabby colors and patterns, bicolor such as blue and white or red and white, and patterns such as tortoiseshell and calico. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The clever La Perm has a sense of humor. Often described as clownish, he is something of a mischief maker who makes talented use of his paws to open doors, swipe things he wants or tap you on the shoulder for attention. He's not clingy, but he likes to be with you and will follow you around, sit on your shoulder or the top of your computer, or sit in your lap, whichever option is most convenient for him. He is moderately active and enjoys retrieving items that are thrown at him. Despite his reputation for getting into things, the La Perm is pleasant to live with. He rarely uses his voice, and he is affectionate, gentle, and patient with his people. Most are also welcoming to visitors as long as they were well socialized as kittens. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically a lap cat, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or wadded up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish love of play well into adulthood. Males, especially, are prone to silly behavior. Females are more dignified, but they aren't above a good game of chase. Not especially vocal, they make any requests in a soft chirp or trill. The La Perm's unusual coat is easy to care for and usually doesn't mat or tangle if it is combed or brushed one to three times a week. Longer coats should be groomed more frequently. 
Use a comb with revolving teeth for best results. It will go through the coat easily without straightening the curls. To keep the cat looking as curly best, mist the coat with a little water or fluff it with damp hands to set the curls. The coat sheds little, and shedding is further reduced with regular brushing. If small mats develop, brush them out gently with a slicker brush or greyhound comb, stainless steel with narrow teeth at one end and wider teeth at the other end. If you give the La Perma bath, press a towel against the coat to soak up moisture, and then let him air dry in a warm, draft-free spot. Using a blow dryer will give him a bad case of frizzies. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice-weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles and what's called a grooming rake to pull out the dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe the Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails weekly. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a La Perm and Maine Coon as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. The easygoing but playful La Perm and the friendly, laid-back Maine Coon are well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat them politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.